Alrighty guys, welcome back to the original show. Uh, we're back with Doki Doki Literature Club, and I'm here with Job and Xylus. And it's a new day. Also, before we start, are you liking any of the girls right now? Like all of them? None of them? Like What, what do you think about um, like, all the girls specifically? Okay, so Fat Suki I was kind of into. She's just being a dickhead. <laughs> she may feel stupid. Yuri, I kind of like too, but then like, she's just not confident in herself. Hmm. It's really making me pissed off because she could be. She should be, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like Sayori right now. Monica's not a fucking option. Because <laughs> yeah, exactly. everybody would go for Monica. Yeah. Well, I would. Yeah, okay. yeah. So you like Sayori the most right now? So far, I like Sayori the most. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm the last one here again. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, don't worry. I just walked in, too. <laughs> Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and not picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember, the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Mm, I can't wait for the festival! It's gonna be great! Huh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? <laughs> Festival, but it's a whole day of school where you get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Siori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on! Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Oh! Uh, I didn't say I don't like it. Oh! Besides, what do you mean? Of <laughs> Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Oh! <laughs> because! It's right in your name! Monica! Oh, you said that! Oh, you gotta just say the. Oh, you gotta just say that! <laughs> Monica! That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Huh? Uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? Just see you, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Fatsuki. Mm. <laughs> fine, fine! Your reactions aren't fun as yours or Sayori's anyways. Excuse me, you stupid whore. Well, where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting on a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. <laughs> You're spacing out again, bitch. Uh, uh, You've done a fucking 180 yeah. down to the 10 you park and you can't. <laughs> you Jesus Christ! Uh, uh, Don't mind me! Uh, <laughs> you can go talk to everyone else! Uh, is everything alright with you, lassie? Of course! Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little elf. Sorry for assuming things, bitch! Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Aw, oh, Sayori shows me a big ol' fucking smile. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let me direct you. Well, I'll wait. If you say so, a worried like, glance at Sayori before putting Dak down toward the darling. <laughs> I'm fucking <laughs> drunk as shit. Sayori <laughs> before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation is already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at a desk. Joby, what's up? Ah. Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed what the fuck is up with Sayori <laughs> recently? Anything up with her? And what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading too much into the little twat, but she <laughs> seems a bit downcast today. <laughs> oh, you think Just so? like my fucking homeland. Hmm, I can't uh, say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging her over her eyster on her pussy. Maybe there's something on her mind. <laughs> Just on the clip. But I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm not the one asking you, Joby. 
You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's not ever really been like this. She's always talked to me about things that fucked with her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really, really dismissive. Sorry, it's... I... Oh, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I do care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh, hey, are you sure about that? She seemed a little fucked when you left her alone. She- fuck! Are you sure? Maybe she's just having a hard time bringing up the person of interest. Person of interest? Ow. Oh, what do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Joby. Me? How on earth could what, what? How on earth would you become to that fucking shit? Would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but oh. Sayori talks about you a lot more than anything else, you know. <laughs> She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? <laughs> <laughs> no way, Sayori! You dumb bitch! Is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> oh god, I smell it again. You're so funny, Joey. Have you <laughs> thought that maybe you've always seen her as that so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Yeah. <laughs> I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyways? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions. So you should just forget about what I said. I'll talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll eat. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my fucking head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room, room to Sayori, is, where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice quiet so I can't hear, hear from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I knew Sayori told me not to worry about her, but fuck! And to have fun with everyone else, but fuck! It's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how I do I cared about her. Why? That fucking <laughs> mother fuck! Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh on down on me so much. It feels like I'm on the fucking... Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there is nothing I can do besides wait for Partica. Hey, you! I look up to see Batsuki sitting next to me. You're just going to sit there and keep staring at nothing? There isn't that much time, though. So. Hey, God. Sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry on anything. It's not like I'm worried. I was just... Fatsuki glances down at her side. She's holding a volume of the oh. manga in her hand. That's, That's right. Cute. Something just came up for a minute. But we can get started now. I won't make you wait any longer, bitch. Jeez. Now you're making me feel like a jerk. If something's bothering you, then you can just tell me to leave you alone and I will. I mean, assuming you didn't feel like talking about it or anything. She's practically mumbled the last part. Nah, <laughs> I'm probably making it seem like a bigger fucking deal than it is. I've just been thinking about Sayori. Oh, shite. Oh, shite. <laughs> that fucking stung. <laughs> That's all, bitch. <laughs> Sayori! Oh! Thinking about her? Oh! Yeah! She seems pretty down today, but she's all oh, fuck. But she didn't want to admit it to me. <laughs> Fucking bitch twat, so I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh! Batsuki exhales. Breath. Well, first of all, you should really work on your phrasing. What the fuck? But anyway, <laughs> you're her best friend, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Then in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she needs you, then she would be. Then you would be the first person she'd go to, right? 
Well, I guess that's not too... I mean, some people just have those days. You can't always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not important. Eh, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly. If she needs you to worry about her, then it'll be a lot more obvious. Yeah. I should have just thought of it that way from the start. Fatsuki fiddles with her pussy. She's holding right in the palm of her hands. She... She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Ah! Don't get the wrong idea, twat. We've just been friends for a long fucking time. It's normal to be worried about your fucking friends. I mean, you were fucking worried about me too. So... I was not! Jeez, if you're fine, then let's hurry up and get started already! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to there to receive their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica. She smiles at me. The bitch. I wonder what she's talking about with Sayori. Fuck. Oh, I just burped so hard I fucking threw up in my mouth. Let's go with uh, Sayori first. She <laughs> fucking yeah. threw up in my mouth. God, god damn it. Oh god, I threw up everywhere. Oh god. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you're right. You don't need to worry about that, I think, though. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably. Oh, fuck. That's that would be fucked up, dude. Yeah. 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 What the hell? <laughs> I didn't write this for anyone specifically, bitch. Maybe. No, maybe nothing, bitch. That's just, that's not really what I meant. Oh, you know what? Can I talk? I'm so that's sorry. That's okay. I'm so that's fucking fine. sorry. That's fine. That's cool. Just fuck to you, right? <laughs> you make a new friend, just like how I told me. That makes me really happy. That's not something you say when you're happy. Your you see that when you feel down about something. No, not really. In this club? Well, of course I am. <laughs> Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Joby. Siori, is there something wrong with you? Huh? No, nothing. Get it through your thick fucking... Yeah, I mean... I skipped a fucking line, mate. Oh, well, good, because I... All right. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? Me and I'll play with everyone else. Now. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> if you'd see someone, <laughs> all right. If you'd see someone, get the fuck out of your hair. I'm gonna go home a little early today. Sayori, tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I could say anything, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Fatsuki. <laughs> That's <laughs> This one's alright! Alright. Oh yeah! It doesn't blow me away! But there's nothing I really hate about it! It's just not really my style! I mean that's fine! Come to think of it, it kind of reminds me of Sayori's poems from yesterday! E. Yeah, think so. Yeah, well, I guess if you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelength! You really never struck me as her type! Sayori has a type all of a sudden, bitch. Well, I don't know, but honestly, how can someone so fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? <sighs> it's like she's dragging around a dead weight. Arr, that was a little unnecessary, bitch. But think of it this way, you stanky pussy bitch. <laughs> if it weren't for me, she would probably just fly away like letting go of a fucking balloon. You can see we each take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. Oh fuck. I'll be your beach. Thank you. Your mind is so full. Your mind is so full of trouble <laughs> that diminished your wander over the years. Today, I have a special place. A beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight. I see that sparkles with brilliant light. The wall in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be at the beach that uh, washes your worries away. <laughs> I'll be at the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap. In a way you thought had left you long ago. I'll spare your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea. And let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. 
set you free in my windy sail. Remember, the reasons you're wonderful, when you press your lips to mine, I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that daydreams about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap, and the way you thought had left you long ago. But if you, let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Boston, Homicide PD. It's fucking <laughs> beautiful, bro. Yeah, it's pretty beautiful, right? I feel like I kept writing about negative themes, so I wanted to write something nice for once. Besides, the beach is fucking awesome. I fucking love the beach. Kind of hard to write anything negative about the fucking beach. I fucking love the fucking beach. Let me tell you guys something, huh? I fucking love the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first, and then came up with the message later. Yeah, well, totally because of what happened yesterday. I mean, that Yuri and I realized we wrote the same thing. Do you want me to pick a topic and have us both write about it, or whatever? Yeah. You can really see you doing that too. Make us write about a simple topic and then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyways. I mean, I guess it ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it's good practice. Well, that was fucking a waste of time. <laughs> Honestly, her poems were a lot better than the that was, other ones. That was really good. Yeah. They feel really nice the way you read that. We're gonna go to fucking Monica next. Oh, you daft bitch. I joked. <laughs> Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Yeah, I fucking did. Well, I got this for me. Being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of facts. Oh, <laughs> shit. I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no yeah. pressure. Oh, fuck. Well, whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. Yeah, it will. It'll oh. also make me so happy. Ha ha ha. Fucking so Anyways, <laughs> let's take a look at today's poem. Sure thing, bitch. I'll let Monica take me fucking poem. I'm holding it in my hands. No words. I like this one. Uh -huh. It makes me think about something Sayori would like. Is that soon? Oh. You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had all sorts of things in common. Listen, bitch. Ah, oh, well, fuck. We may be good friends, but Sayori's and I are just really good for all our fucking different. Hmm. Uh. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there's also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you would think. So I think the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem... <laughs> you're sure you're not reading too much into it? Maybe. I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Siri's writing has a kind of gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Hey, to each their own. Don't fucking see how I said it earlier, bitch. <laughs> and you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. Any hoosers, <laughs> I'll share my poem with you now, alright? <laughs> alright. The lady who knows everything. No tell tells of a lady who won dessert. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who found every answer. Oh, well, that was fucking good. <laughs> you know, that was fucking good. <laughs> you know, you're a little piece of shit, Joe. <laughs> Fuck you. I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. But when I look at you, it just takes that meaning away. <laughs> Not to get all philosophical or anything, but you make me want to puke. <laughs> it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I'm glad you listened. Uh, I see. I fucking see. I never really put that much thought into it. <laughs> oh, shit. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. I don't know what that fucking means. Because we all have the answers. When did the world start to lose its meaning? Well, don't know what that means. Goodbye, bitch. <laughs> I just skip it. <laughs> you know, there's one fucking thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you know that better than anyone. What do you mean? One dimensional. Oh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Do you ever have that scratch in your eyes that you just can't reach? <laughs> well, try to scratch it. <laughs> Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not good? No, I always feel really good about it. It can be really disheartening well, to get a lukewarm response uh, to something that you put so much effort into. Well, I always get good responses. But if you find the other uh, people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Okay, well. Because instead of letting them telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. They always tell me it's good. I mean, fuck. It's, it's like, much more encouraging okay. that way. It'll make you want to uh, continue improving. 
You can talk. <laughs> Come on, Joey, talk. Well, it's almost like oh! you know, the club, don't you think? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I fucking say it, dude. <laughs> Here we go. Who should choose next? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> All the decisions to make. Not this one. Not fucking that one. Let's get it. <laughs> Hi, you daft bitch. Mm. Uh, hold on, Joby. Oh, you put on 10 pounds, it looks like. <laughs> okay, well, go fuck yourself, man. <laughs> you definitely improved your riding over the course of these few days. Uh, speaking of a few days, you put on fucking weight okay. in the past few days, haven't you? <laughs> you joke so fucking funny, thank you, Tom Joe. <laughs> your titties yeah. are fucking sagging left and right, yeah. and your stomach is flopping over your skirt. <laughs> you guys are real, but shut the fuck up! Yeah, fucking definitely. I'm glad. Sure, you're riding like this. It's all more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. You need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all feel Well, I think it's fucking you need to remember to thank Monica, not me! Or listen, you dumb bitch. But now it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. Except for you. Oh, I guess I can- I can't really disagree, can I? I was afraid this whole fucking thing would be a chore. But it's a great way for me to spend some personal time with all the bitches in this club. <laughs> but it's been fun getting to know everyone. And- oh, fuck me. And the writing. And I guess- Oh, I fucking got the hiccups. <laughs> Doing some writing myself. Well- Oh, shit. You learn anything about yourself, Joby. Yeah, well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. If you consider touching yourself, I don't always end, touch it me doesn't fucking self. If you're a good writer or a bad writer, and even my opinions are just opinions, you know. <laughs> hey, fucking Natsuki or Fat Suki is having a fucking panic attack over there. <laughs> <laughs> but, as always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Yeah. Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Is that so, huh? You're in things for a good minute. That must be terrible. Are you okay? <laughs> Fuck! Ah! I'm really about to become someone whose opinion is fearsome. <laughs> How unlikable of me. It's fucking dangerous. Turns me on a little. Yodi. You're dangerous, Yuri. It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your fat fucking head. <laughs> I just <laughs> meant that I respect your opinion. I see. Nothing more. I'm oh, sorry that I always had to... Nothing less. That... Nothing you, more. You don't talk to me? Nothing. I'm sorry I always <laughs> think you come, out, come to these sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri. What, what Are you sure saying? this isn't the literature I'm club? I'm sorry. It sounds more like the theater club at this point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's move on. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now, bitch? No. Okay. There. She said no. She said no. Yeah, it's a no. Oh, how about, no. You, how about you read oh, yeah. this one? How about you oh, read yeah? your own poem? Beach. Good, nice. Good job. <laughs> that was a good reading right Beach. there. Yeah. Oh. Wow, Yuri. Yeah, I'm kind of great. But I did my best to make a metaphor of poetry with it. Yeah, that, that Suki already told me about it. You, you did? She didn't say anything weird, did she? You're clicking that thing awful fast, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> she just wanted us to write about the same topic again. I suppose it's very. It's, I suppose. Just well, take it, a fucking skip, time and eat it. Just, just give it, just give it, just go. <laughs> no, oh, no! Anyway, Sidious. it was her idea. See, you're fucking lying. No, you're so surprised that she wanted to do something like that. She probably wants to just show off. It's not like I was particularly interested in her writing style. I just wanted to do with her request. I had to dumb it down. But <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on vacation. It can be refreshing, you know? You talk so fucking much, bitch. It's good for me to call my thoughts once in a while. <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> yeah! I think I fucking agree! <laughs> Holy, we want another rant. Holy shit! Yeah. Fucking thanks for sharing! <laughs> Don't do it to anyone else! <laughs> no one will fucking listen to you but me! Okay! Okay! Oh fuck! Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out. Hold on a second! Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Huh? Oh, no, that, that did sound right. a bit unusual. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. God, these, Jeez! These bitches look into everything. <laughs> Why is it been so weird today? Fuck, it's normal. Fuck, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ooh. <laughs> Stagnating here is going foreshadowing. That's something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe, bitch. But look at this. The only thing different is that my main bitch, Siori, isn't fucking here to suck me cock. 
<laughs> I can take care of that. It seems you're right. <laughs> Sayori <laughs> Sayori always, <laughs> always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did you run off to anyways? I thought you went to pee! Yo, I took a pet no, for please, please show some goddamn decent you <laughs> Oh, come on! Oh, she actually wasn't fucking feeling good too well, and she went home early. Is that so? <laughs> she wasn't fucking feeling good too well. I'm so she's alright. <laughs> Hope your grandma's alright too. Here Seriously, Fuck you! <laughs> of all the times you chose not to go with her, you picked this time when she's not feeling well? Lesson, bitch. So much for you to be all lovely, tell me. Ah! No! Festival! Bitch! Stop misunderstanding my friendship with Baclory! And second, you daft backwards cunt! She's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Who? That curious expression coming from Yuri of all fucking people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyways, we need to figure out what the, the fuck. The <laughs> <laughs> so, let's decide what everyone will be doing. Hey, what is it? Ask a fucking question. I know what I'm doing. Fuck. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes, but we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Ah, fat bitch. Challenge accepted. And as for myself, you're gonna tuck your tits. I'm gonna be printing and assembling <laughs> all the poetry pamphlets. Sarah will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, hey, let me fucking shit on you. Man. And as for Yuri, <laughs> Yuri can. Oh, I'm useless. <laughs> wow, what the fuck did I do today? <laughs> Guys, can you help me uh, come up with something for Yuri? Oh, how about you just fucking I... sit in a corner and play again, you fucking daft bitch? I'm useless. You're not Yo, useless. There you go. At least someone had to see it. That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here. You no, know. someone had to fucking tell her. <laughs> Oh, fuck. No, not Suki's padding, too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit. But I can tell... I, but I can tell things that even... Why the fuck did I go Australian? <laughs> but I, I can... But I can fucking tell things that are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri. You have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should be yeah. making some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Okay. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere! Fuck it. Fuck yeah! Flirty expression suddenly changes as she stares at a disc in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, bitch. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Joby. The one who is truly useless in the oh, whole fucking yeah. thing of it all, isn't it? You know, now that I sit here, I think I should have my own monologue. The one who is really useless. <laughs> oh, don't say that. In fact, <laughs> both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. Oh, fuck me. You can always help me out as well. Oh, I'm gonna fucking help you out. I would be really appreciative of that. Yeah, well, uh, that's fucking... I suggested I spend the weekend with one of my club members. How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always something to <laughs> no, I'm you. so sorry. I'm so no, sorry. I'm sorry, Joby. I'm so I'm sorry. sorry. You're like Monica's going to give me a choice. Right. Hey, shut the fuck up. No, no, no. <laughs> if I were to get my line, <laughs> fucking you. It's <laughs> not like Monica's going to be giving me a choice. I'm going to be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of fucking excuses <laughs> like that. <laughs> um. Anywho. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned that you were the end of the big yard. Fucking run. see the line. Joey, man, I'm here around only making me have a nuisance. What the fuck did you just say, Yuri? <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't hear the fucking <laughs> word. Oh. So therefore, he may be more suited to be assisting with the decoration. Hold on, I never said that. Oh, I'm gonna be making a few decorations anyway. Ladies, I can so fuck it. like you're just making excuses for Joey to- You shut your whore mouth. What are you, what are you saying? <laughs> yeah. it'll, be, it'll be extremely meticulous work. Baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. 
In the end, I think it's up to Joby to decide how he would like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really got a chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? <laughs> so I'm sure he's interested in... <laughs> you literally just fucking said... Oh, I'm surprised as well. <laughs> that was sorry, good. I'm sorry, that I'm sorry. That was good. I'm just saying, though... Jeez! Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Joby, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. <laughs> of course I fucking am! <laughs> Either way, I get well. pussy. <laughs> pussy, case, pussy, pussy, pussy. <laughs> Everyone looks sneeze at me. You already know who the fuck I'm going with. I'm gonna get some of that fat chunky meat. <laughs> well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica's titty meat. Yeah, you picked me. Hold on one second. Yeah. Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. Uh, but I agree with Natsuki. Not only is everyone great, but suitable for one person. But you already have Sayori as well. But Joby was the one who... Uh. That doesn't matter! You were the one who scared him into picking you in the first place! You're the club president, Monica! You're supposed to make responsible decisions! Yeah, now show your titties all over the place. <laughs> Monica, you should let any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Uh, ulterior motives? What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the one who has ulterior motives. Excuse me?! Otherwise, this wouldn't have made such a big deal in the first place. Yeah, it's completely false, Monica. Yeah! We have a lot of work to do, you know? We won't do as good of a job if you make us work alone. Maybe that's true. What the fuck? Oh, Monica. No, fuck you! Yeah, I want to fucking right, take right. it. the fuck up, dude! Ah! If we want event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Um, uh... I said we chop so up Joby's fat cock. Yeah. president! <laughs> okay, okay. I get it. It's technically most logical for Joby to help one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. What the fuck? <laughs> I'd fucking get the one team! Do you have a preference, Joby? <laughs> I, think Sayori, no. I think Sayori needs you right now. To be I honest. really do think Sayori needs me. Look, here's the thing. It's like, I really want to go with Sayori, but I feel so bad leaving Yuri because she's such a depressed motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, but like, I don't know. Thanks well, for saying that Sayori. Sayori. I mean... Fucking shit, if it's gonna be anyone, I prefer to help with Sayori. I mean, what the whole lady knee but us, and... But Monica said... Oh, fuck. Monica said that Sayori was helping oh, us! Oh, shit! Jeez, do you really hate us that much? No, no! Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just what the fuck?! Think of the club, okay? <laughs> I'm fucking going for Yori! She fucking, you're gonna bake cupcakes! You're gonna try to fuck me in those 14 minutes, aren't you, bitch? While they're baking and the bread rises. You're gonna try to make me cock all fucking cummy hard and suck like a rock solid back, tardy, far, dirty, farty, dirty bitch. Go with Yuri! She's gonna <laughs> make me fucking. Oh! Probably be most helpful, useful hanging out with Yuri. Me? Yes, bitch! Are you serious? What the fuck? <laughs> Why are you. Natsuki, no. shut your fucking mouth. I can already say you're gonna say something <laughs> mean. No! I was just saying- You're lucky I remember the line. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. So, you'll be helping Yuri then, Joby. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna fucking do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your sisters will be very useful. God damn it. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle baking by yourself? I mean, yeah! I already said I'd be fine! Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki's feeling a little fucking sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Fuck yeah. Well, excited might not be the right word. Oh, she's fucking oh, holding me. I suppose me. I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Fuck you. Do you feel the same way, Joby? Me? I guess you could see I'm interested in how to see how to fucking turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? <laughs> Natsuki. What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything! But no. It's not what I meant at all. God. Stupid. Yuri anxiously glances at everyone in the fucking room. I'm sorry for this. I really don't know why Joby picked me. And also, your cookies are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing to do with the event or cooperative. <laughs> so, so, so stop clicking the goddamn thing! I get it! I get it! <laughs> kind of surprised, though. But why? Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. You're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I don't even know why, but why I am I sounding like Morty? Now? What the fuck? <laughs> no, oh jeez, Rick! Hey, why did you go on? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Rick, what are we supposed to do? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry if I said something bad, Rick. Natsuki isn't the only one fucking surprised. Monica and I are already taken aback by Yuri's words, when she'd already has trouble with words. Trying to cheer someone up must be far out of a fucking zone. 
Yeah. But I began to understand. You only was trying to sound like fucking Bacardi. Even if I didn't work perfectly, I can tell she tried to see something Siori would see all the fucking time. Because Siori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No! I kind of appreciate it! I'm sorry for making such a big deal out of nothing, but I'm gonna say this! Mm. You better bet that my cupcakes are gonna be the best part of this whole event! Uh, I believe you. Yeah, I fucking know. <laughs> I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that... There's nothing more for today, so I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then! Everyone picks up their fucking things. I said to fellow Monica and Suki out the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um. Oh. Hey, I turn around. Sorry. We have the classroom to ourselves. <laughs> I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe it slipped my fucking mind. Should I give you my phone number? Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. That's okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Hey, my house. Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I'd prefer going to your house. I'll let you then. In that case, it won't be a fucking problem. I decide not to not to place you any for a reason. It's not like it should matter either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is fucking clean. I hope I imagine my fucking muck. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you fucking are. <laughs> That's true. But don't underestimate hey, yourself, Joey. I think we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait! You don't actually think that, do you? Uh, I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason, you know. You know what? <laughs> fucking finish your line. I know you saw the last one. Why, why would you stop giving my guy the ah, fucking fuck. fuck. You're forgetting the one reason the most common, with the most common sense. I chose ya. Because that's what I fucking wanted to do. Oh, what? Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri! You're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Yeah. I didn't realize. I'm telling ya. I want to. That's all there fucking is to it. Do you believe me? I Believe you me, I fucking want to. Yuri really, really thinks hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long time. I believe you. As I look at her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Not me, bitch, but okay. Well, I am too. Like, right, After right. that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri fucking follows me. Cool. I can't believe this. Yuri's gonna be coming to my house on Sunday. Even though I'd have preferred to be with Siori, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. Fucking yes, I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling it at this point. But who knows that might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my fucking head. Why well, do I don't feel nervous that Bacalori finds out about this? It's not like that way we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. Alright, well, that's a good part to start uh, stop for now. So uh, we will see you guys on the next video. Thank yeah. you guys yeah, thank so you much guys. for watching. Thank you so much. <laughs>